Hello everyone and welcome to a new video again. Today I want to continue working on the taper tooling for my homemade milling machine. There's still some work that needs to be done. I bought this ER20 cold holder. It will fit right on this tub, which is actually the shank of a drill bit. That way I will know for sure that it is very strong and straight. This part needs to be fit in between the dogs you can see right here. So let's get started. Now I can put the two parts together. I ended up using cold, the cold blue method on this part. I think it came out really nice, nice and black finish. This has two set screws on either side. If this setup turns out to have too much run out, I might add two set screws at this and this sides. And also grind down this shaft a little bit. That way I can use a indicator and make it perfectly true just like you would do with a four jaw chuck. Now this is quite a quite a tight fit like that. All right, this is it. Time to mount it in the machine. I still need to make or buy a proper key for the drawbar, but for the time being, this will do. The fit up of the taper is actually not that good. You can see 
there's a gap in between this and I can very easily fix that problem but currently I don't have access to a lathe so these wires are where this e-stop used to live I just shorted them for now because earlier today I was, I was doing a small test of the spindle and I might have shocked myself a little bit and no I didn't catch it on video can you imagine the title homemade milling machine goes wrong could probably go viral just be careful when you're doing electronics this is the testing setup I just made some quick t-nuts with an ankle grinder I'm too excited to make proper ones at this stage I had to use some washers because I didn't have the right length of bolts but this will do I will put in this 5mm end mill with a 6mm shank I have to say these are very cheap from China but the, the quality is really outstanding Right now I have to set the depth with the kill lock, that isn't ideal of course, it needs to change in the future, but again for testing it doesn't matter. So this is it, finally after close to two years of work for me, a lot of spare time, I don't think I've ever spent so much time on one project, I can finally do the first test. First I want to thank you for watching this video, make sure to watch all the videos in the milling machine playlist, subscribe and have a nice day.